Hey everybody, it's Paperclip again. Gonna be playing some Stellaris today. A game I have very much looked forward to playing, and I've been anticipating this for a very long time. Uh, I have no experience playing this game. I've watched some streams of but Paradox and other people like Roomba and all them play it, so I have a general idea of how things work, but this is my first, like, I literally just downloaded the game, like, eight minutes ago. But, anyway, um, we're going to create a new empire. I'm not going to start as, now the appearance, let's see, should we be mammalian, reptilian, avian, Muscoid, fungoid. We could be molluscoids. Huh, I don't know who to be. You know what? I think I kind of want to be... be a molluscoid no I'm gonna I'm gonna be this guy we're gonna be this guy um, what do we want to be continental worlds ocean worlds Arctic tundra arid desert or tropical probably ocean worlds considering we're reptilian ocean habitability continental habitability Arctic habitability tropical and tundra are both down that's fine starting solar system is random Home world name. Ikara. That sounds cool. Karzu. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um. We'd like to have a reptilian city. So let's see. We can be a pacifist, materialist, individualist, xenophobe, militarist, spiritualist, collectivist, xenophile. Any alien influence must be ruthlessly squashed only by staying pure and true to ourselves, the planet gave us. I think I want to be a fanatic militarist, or a fanatic materialist, and what else should we be? We could be a xenophobe, or we could be collectivists. Fanatic militarist collectivists. Now nah, I'm thinking militarists. Alright, so that opens all of these. We can have a uh, no government type selective research speed, survey speed, research alternatives, empire leader capacity, holds an election every 40 to 50 years. Core sector planets plus two, naval capacity plus 20, ship upkeep. Um, ship cost, ship upgrade cost, army upkeep, ship upkeep, war happiness, energy credits, minerals, building costs, slave mineral output, slave food output, leader skill levels, leader recruitment costs. Um... From what I've seen, energy and minerals can be quite useful, so I think I'm going to go with the plutocratic oligarchy. Our empire name. Um... I don't 
no. I didn't put any thought into this. Um... We'll be the scallions. And the adjective, I guess, will be scallion. That'll work. Now, let's see what kind of flags we got. We got quite a lot of options, actually. That one looks cool. What is that? I like that one, too. Oh, I don't even know. Uh, I really don't know. That one looks like a face with a guy holding up his hands. Like, don't shoot me. I think we're probably just going to go with that. We'll go ahead with dark blue as the primary and the secondary. No primary, let's have light blue. Secondary. Yeah, we'll just have it as black. What the hell? Um. We'll do that. That'll work. Now, do we want missile weapons, projectile weapons, or energy weapons? Directed energy weapons emit focused laser beams at the targets, effective at medium to close range, largely ignoring the bulk of enemy armor. Fast drivers use electromagnetic catapults to accelerate projectiles towards targets at blinding speeds, while somewhat limited in range, their kinetic energy and high rate of fire chew through shields with ease. So that's good against shields, that's good against armor. Space-to-space -space missiles armed with nuclear warheads missiles have excellent range, but they are vulnerable to interception by point defense systems. So these just look good in general, but they can be intercepted. I'm thinking we go missiles. Warp travel, hyperspace travel, or wormhole travel. I'm thinking we probably just want to go warp travel for the beginning. I think we're just going to go warp travel for the beginning. Um... I don't like how that looks, like, at all. Like, that's the ugliest ship out of all of these. I think I'm just gonna go with the avian ships, because they look cool. Now, our species name. Oh, yeah. Because aren't we, uh... Plutocratic oligarchy. Yep, so the Scallion Plutocracy. We'll just have it be the Scallions. Scallion. Scallions. Scally. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and save them. We'll say done. You have unspent trait points or ethic points. Are you sure you want to continue? No, no, I don't then. Oh, I went right by traits. And ruler. Huh. Let's see. Habitability plus 10%, extremely adaptive, 20% habitability, natural sociologists, intelligent, engineering, physics, and society, industrious, 
I definitely think we want to be industrious. I'd like to be strong. We could be other species happiness minus 1%. That doesn't seem like a big thing at all. Um What else? Being adaptive would be nice. But I don't think we can do that. I guess we'll be industrious, strong, or pungent. Let's see. Phenotype one, hairstyle one, because yeah, we don't have hair. I like that color. Um, what kind of clothes should we have? I like that. Starting ruler, I don't really care his name. We'll go ahead and say he's a guy. And we'll call him. I can't pronounce it. Trulik. That'll be fine. Alright, so save. Yes, save. Done. Alright, galaxy size. I think we're gonna go huge. Uh, elliptical, spiral. Spiral ring. I think we'll. I think we'll go forearm spiral, because it seems cooler. AI empires. Uh, maybe we should just leave that alone. Yeah, we'll have twenty nine of them. What the hell? We'll turn on Iron Man mode. Allowed. FTL method. Any. Difficulty, let's see what they have. Insane, hard, normal. We're just going to do normal. And we're going to go right into the game. So, that took 13 minutes just to set up our nation. So, sorry about that. Alright, this is the Scallion Plutocracy. We're a plutocratic oligarchy. Tudorulek is our leader. We're Scalian. We have warp travel. Our capital is Akara. We're fanatic materialist m militarists. We're industrious. We're strong. We're repugnant. And we have an ocean world preference. Good day, Chief Executive. I am Veer, a prototype synthetic intelligence. Corporate headquarters recently activated me so that I may serve as your assistant in our continuing mission to seek new interstellar markets. Cool. Uh, I guess tell me everything for right now. Good to know. Okay. Cool. The first mission is to fully survey our home system. I have added it as an entry to the situation log to access... It, click the situation log button in the left section of the the top bar or press F5. I'm going to press F5. Displays a list of all currently available special projects and various other points of interest. New items will likely appear as we begin exploring the galaxy. Cool. Building a star empire can be a daunting task, blah 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 blah. Okay. So, we need to get a science ship this is our construction ship. Okay. It's used to construct space stations. When an astronomical object such as a planet has been surveyed, we can order this ship to build a research station. Okay, cool. This is our science ship. 
which is used to survey astronomical objects such as planets in a star system. A planet needs to be surveyed in order to make its resources visible. To put it to work, simply right click on a not yet surveyed planet body and select survey system. The ship will then travel between all objects in the system and survey them each in turn. Surveying other planets may also uncover ones that are habitable and ripe for future colonization. Okay. Um, survey system. There we go. That'll work. The technology screen is where we will be directing our research efforts. Technologies are categorized into three different fields, with each field typically having three available research options. Okay, so we have physics, society, and engineering research. Cool. Um, let's see. For physics, what do we want to do? Solar panel network um, unlocks a module that can give us three credits. Physics lab gives us extra science or a fusion reactor. Generate a great amount of power, but without many of the risks associated with fission power. That sounds pretty useful as far as like traveling around goes. Let's do that one. Um, we could get a bio lab. We could increase leader lifespan and food. Or we could research colony. Let's do the colony ship. Just get that out of the way right now. Oh, he's actually really good at societal research, so he'll make that go faster. Cool. Um, right, yeah. So let's do engineering, army damage, powered exoskeletons, we could do an improved spaceport which gives us plus 2000 mineral capacity, a Corvette assembly yard, spaceports, or an engineering facility. Um, let's go ahead and do the improved spaceport. There we go. So this is our spaceport, I take it. Okay. Gotcha. So we could build more Corvettes, we could build another construction ship, or we could build some science ships. Um. Is there anything like EU4? You should probably start off building a ship right off the bat. I don't know. Military fleets are used to protect our emerging empire from threats. Okay. Expand our glorious rule through force of arms, if we so wish. Which we very much will, because we are militarists. This is our homeworld and the capital of our empire. The planet summary screen, which we are currently looking at, provides an overview of the planet's important statistics. Um, so we can enact edicts. Okay, cool. Let me look. Okay, so these cost influence and they give you temporary buffs. Uh, we can change our governor around. We could terraform the planet, but we need a certain tech for that. Here we see a visual ah, here we go. Okay, understand. So let's see, we currently make four food in a surplus. We could come up here and we could build Okay, cool. So we could go ahead and get a mining network set up right here, get an extra two minerals. Um How much would that cost? 60 and it would take 200 units of time. Let's do that. We could get a basic science lab built up here. How much does a mining station cost? 90. So I want to keep 90 to do like an orbital mining station. Let's go ahead and unpause right now I think I'll do fast while they go around and they survey everything okay cool 
researching new technologies will be critical to our success. I tell you this not merely as a product of unfettered technological progress, but as your trusted advisor and, I suspect, your only true friend. Hey, I have a lot of friends. That is not nice. This guy's a dick. So far, we haven't found anything. Still nothing. Forksod hopefully has something. Nope, nothing. So, we can go to the galaxy map. So, this is the galaxy. We're up here. So, we're kind of in the middle. We're in the G Gamus Vale. So we're going to want to explore down and to the right, down and to the left, because going up, there's really nothing we can really do. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. We could take these guys. Could tell them to go over here. Eh, might as well. So it looks like what they do is they come to the edge of the circle and then they warp anywhere. They don't go in the direction that you're necessarily telling them to. Okay, cool. So we have some minerals over here. So, you. I'd like you to build a mining station there. And okay, so we're going to come back here. We're going to go ahead and say build a basic science lab. Because I want to start getting some science going pretty early. Alright, so there's not too much here. It's a barren world. Oh, another ocean world. And it's size 15. That's actually pretty damn nice to have. And another barren world. Okay. So we're definitely going to want to go there. Let's go ahead here. And let's go here. And we can come back here. And... I guess over to there and then come home. As of yet, we don't know anything about this over here. Anomaly found. Uh, failure risk is zero percent. Um, let's go ahead and research it. Let's take a look at where it is. It's over here on. Footixcom. So she's investigating it. Then when she's done that, she's going to continue surveying. She has five other things to survey. She? I can't tell if it's a he or a she. It doesn't tell me. Let's look over here. So we got a barren world, another barren world, a barren world, asteroid, asteroid. Uh, what is this? Tropical world. Toxic world. Barren world. Barren world. A molten world. Huh. That's different. So let's see over here. Here we have a continental world. That one could be habitable by us. And there's a tropical world. We don't really like tropical worlds too much. There's an arid world. And a barren world. So there's three habitable planets here in this system. Wow, that sounds pretty damn good. So we're on our way over to here. Although we already know there's a toxic world and a gas giant here. So I don't think we're really going to discover much there. We'll be able to discover what's over here though. So I definitely think we're going to want to go over to here first. To this ocean world. Go ahead. Can we start building a colony ship yet? No, we have to wait until that research is done. The government screen presents us with information regarding our empire and its government. Okay. Here we can see our ruler and any related effects. Interesting. Well, anyway. Let's 
go ahead and how do I open the side screen again?